I was in a dark spot in my life before going to Alpine Church. I remember I was fighting depression and was cl close to losing that battle. One day, Valerie Swan was walking out of the TA room and she stopped, turned to me and asked if I would go to her church. That Sunday, I came to Alpine and was greeted at the doors as I walked in. I sat down waiting for service to start and was greeted again by more church members who were so happy to see me there. I remember thinking they genuinely care that I am here and it made me happy to know that. Then Valerie came and introduced me to her husband, John, and he was so happy that I was there too. He even invited me to men's group that next Saturday morning. That was when I knew I had found a community I could be a part of. That was on Mother's Day weekend, two years ago. I remember one service after Mother's Day, one of the teaching pastors taught about Jesus plus nothing equals salvation and how works are not a part of the plan for salvation. He taught that anything we do cannot get us eternal life because it is not ours to earn. It was given to us and all glory belongs to him, not us. That was when I felt the love of God and wanted to pursue him so I could continue to feel that love. I am truly grateful to Valerie for inviting me to church. I am grateful to Pastor John for inviting me to the men's group where I met more of my brothers in Christ. I am grateful for my mentor Ken Howard for reaching out to be my mentor. I am grateful for the small groups I am a part of where I learn I, I am not alone in the daily struggles of life. I am grateful for the community Alpine has cultivated before and after I started coming here. I would not have stayed if I did not feel loved and accepted. I look forward to pursuing God with my brothers and sisters here at Alpine. John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him.